Welcome to Grow Bio channel. In today's video, we're gonna see about DBT JR of Bed Question Paper 2008 solved with explanation. Cystic fibrosis is due to the answer is A. Defective chloride channel. Cystic fibrosis is caused on mutation of CFTR gene. Okay, it dysregulates the epithelial transport in lungs, pancreas, like every internal organs. The epithelial cell will be present in all internal organs so on this regulation it creates a massive uh, disease okay in normal human being the abc transporter will be there this is the ion channel protein this will be there in every epithelial cell when the chloride comes the chloride is transported across the epithelial cell so when there is any injury or any defect in any organs any in internal organs what happens this gene will be activated and then it uh, transports the chloride and fibrosis will occur what is fibrosis fibrosis means thickening and scarring of connective tissue so at last what happens it will seal the injury or defect when this gene cftr gene is defective on mutation this process will not occur this is due to the defective chloride channel. So the option A, defective chloride channel is correct. And next is HAT selection is based on. The answer is TK and HPRT gene. The spleen cell that is the white one which is HGPRT plus and TK plus. And the myeloma cell that is the red one HGPRT minus and TK minus will produce cell division by using the de novo pathway. But HAT medium doesn't allow de novo pathway requirements. So the cell with HGPRT plus and TK plus that is spleen cell can only grow in that medium. So the spleen cell lacks the immortality and it dies after some division. Okay. Whereas the myeloma cells has immortality property but cannot grow in that HAT medium. So, only the hybridoma cell will be grown in that heart medium. So, here the cell is selected based on the thymidin kinase okay, and HJPRT. So, hybridoma cell is selected in the heart medium is based on the TK and HGPRT genes. Next question, the main difference between the active transport and facilitated diffusion is that. So, here they talk about facilitated diffusion and active transport. Active transport means it utilizes the ATP. It needs energy. Here the energy is consumed in active to move against the concentration gradient. So the molecule must move from lower concentration to higher concentration. Whereas in facilitated, facilitated means with the help of. So facilitated diffusion means with the help of diffusion. It undergoes passive means of transportation. So they facilitate diffusion by carrier proteins along the concentration gradient here the molecule will move from higher concentration to lower concentration so there is no need for energy here so this is the difference between active and facilitated diffusion if you have uh, to know more about this i will add card that is for uh, membrane transportation in plasma membrane at the top okay next is what is the correct order of molecular weight the answer is human antibody. It is the bigger one than albumin. Albumin is bigger than insulin. Insulin is bigger than glutathione. So here the albumin is 66.5 kilodaltons, whereas insulin is only 5734 gram per mole. Okay, and glutathione is 307.32 gram per mole. So from these all, human antibody is only bigger. So option A is correct and next is beaker a has 100 ml of fluid at 800 degrees celsius and b has 200 ml of same fluid at 200 degrees celsius if both the fluids are mixed that is 300 ml okay what would be the resultant temperature of that mixture the answer is c 400 degrees celsius to get this we have a formula the temperature final equal to m1 that is ml okay into t1 plus m2 into t2 temperature 2 by m1 plus m2 so here m1 is 100 ml 100 into 800 degree celsius plus 200 into 200 degree celsius divided by m1 plus m2 that is total amount is 300 so here we get 400 degree celsius 
Next is during batch fermentation, lowest specific growth rate is achieved during. Answer is B. Lag and stationary phase. There are five phase. Okay. Lag phase, log phase, deceleration phase, stationary phase and death phase. So in lag phase and stationary phase, this is the growth limiting phase. Whereas the log phase will have more growth rate and death phase is the decline phase. So the lag that is the first stage and the stationary phase is the growth limiting phase. So the answer is B, lag and stationary phase. In competitive inhibition, what happens? Option A, Km increases and Vmax will be constant. This is the answer. So, Vmax is constant because competitive inhibitor bind only to the free enzyme that is E and not to the bind, bound enzyme that is ES. Okay. So, bound enzyme will not be disturbed by this competitive inhibitor. So, Vmax is constant because it is not disturbed at all. Whereas Km increases as the competitor inhibitor will bind to the free enzyme E okay, and gives more competition for the substrate to bind. Here the enzyme is allosteric enzyme. It will have two part but it will only bind to one part either inhibitor or substrate. Okay, but inhibitor when binds to that enzyme it will not allow substrate to bind to it because there will be conformational change in it. So, Km will be increased because the Km is the substrate concentration at half maximal velocity. So, when the inhibitor binds to the enzyme, there will be more substrate that is not utilized. So, Km is the substrate concentration. So, unused substrate will be more. So, Km increases. To know more about this, you can know about MM kinetics. I will give add card that is click above button. Okay. Next is. For the reaction to be spontaneous, answer is option A, del G is negative, okay? This means the del G must be less than zero. So, the reaction is spontaneous. What does mean by reaction is spontaneous? Here, the Gibbs free energy should be negative, okay? That is, the free energy should be liberated, okay? So, this is known as exothermic reaction. Consider a hot water in the room. Okay, what will happen? After some time, the temperature will be decreased. It means the heat energy is transferred from that bottle, that water, from uh, water to the surrounding. Okay, this is the exothermic reaction and it can occur spontaneously. Here, no input of energy is needed. Whereas, when give free energy change is positive, this means the energy should be positive. So, it is the endothermic reaction. That is, the energy must be given to the system. That is the water. Okay. So, it is the non-spontaneous reaction. Okay. So, this is known as del G will be greater than 0. That is positive. Okay. When the del G is positive, it means it is a non-spontaneous reaction. That is endothermic reaction. When the del G is negative, it means the exothermic reaction. If there is equilibrium reaction, the del G will be equal to 0. So, here when the reaction is spontaneous, the answer is del G is negative. Next question, the dependence of molecular weight of protein molecule to the distance travelled in the denaturing gel electrophoresis is? Answer is C, logarithmic. So, here we know that when there is high molecular weight, then the movement of the molecule in that gel will be low. When it is low molecular weight, it will move very fast. Okay. So, here when the molecular weight is high, then the movement in the gel will be low. Okay. There is the inverse relationship between the logarithm of electrophoretic mobility, that is MR, and the gel concentration. When MR, that is mobility, is inversely proportional to the log of molecular weight, what happens? The log MR, that is mobility, equal to 1 by gel concentration. This means the mobility will be high when the gel concentration is low. Okay. So, similarly, when the gel concentration is very high, what happens? The gel will be more thick. It will not allow the movement of the molecule very easily. So, when gel concentration is high, mobility will be low. This is the relationship between them. So, the gel concentration and molecular weight of the compound is inversely proportional to the log MR, that is log of mobility. Okay. 
So the answer is logarithmic. Next is addition of salt to a culture medium only allows the salt tolerant bacteria to grow. This is the example of. In question itself, there is the answer. When they add salt, then it allows only the salt tolerant bacteria. This means it is the selective media. Okay, the selective media makes only the selective organism to grow in that media. Whereas other things such as complex and uh, chemical defined media is made up of natural and uh, chemical compounds respectively. Whereas the differential media, it means the differentiation that is it is the indicator media. It has indicators such as phenol red, yersin blue, methyl orange, methylene blue etc. It differentiates from one organism from other organism. For example, in EMB media, the E. coli will be differentiated from other uh, bacteria. Next question is long terminal repeats that is LTR are found in. Answer is proviral DNA. The provirus is the virus genome itself that only integrates into the host cell DNA. In lytic or lysogenic cycle, it will integrate into it. So, it has many terminal repeats. It may be hundreds and thousands of repeats, okay? In order to protect the DNA from the degrading enzyme, because, because it is entering via the bilayer or uh, the cell cytoplasm to nucleus, okay? There will be more DNAs will be there in that cytoplasm. So, in order to protect itself, it has many LTR, okay? In either end, sorry, in both end, okay? So, whereas others are retroviral RNA, uh, retroviral genome, influenza virus, it doesn't have it because it is only found in the integrating DNA or RNA, not in the entire RNA or genome itself. They are found in the retrotransposons and uh, proviral DNA. This LTR is present only in the retrotransposons and uh, proviral DNA. When it is formed, it is formed by reverse transcriptase of retrovirus RNA. Okay. RNA is made to cDNA by reverse transcriptase. So, this cDNA that is called as proviral DNA or retrotransposons. This only will integrate into the E. coli, not the entire genome or virus or retroviral RNA, etc. So, the answer is proviral DNA. Next question a sequence of KDEL is removed from the ER resident protein assuring that there is no change in the tertiary structure of the protein and on other signal sequence present in that protein the changed protein will now have following fate the answer is it is secreted outside the cell the kdl it is also known as kkxs or kxxx it is the signal sequence okay when it is removed from the er okay that is the rough endoplasmic reticulum uh, of the cell, this protein will be secreted from the ER, that is it will unbound from the v ER, then what will happen? It will accidentally get exported outside the cell. This KDEL or KKX signal peptide, what it will do? It will make that protein to re-enter into the cell. But when the mutated cell, when they lack KDEL, what happens? When they moved outside the bilayer, it is gone, that's it. So. Um, the answer is it is se secreted outside the cell okay next is all living cell arise from pre-existing cell was proposed in cell theory by answer is rudolf virchow this is the third theory of the cell theory okay it is proposed by rudolf virchow first two theory was proposed by Schleiden and schwann whereas third theory was proposed by rudolf virchow he is a powerful dictum he called it as a spontaneous theory to know more about this, I will give add card at the top. Okay. Next is using deliberate attenuation approach, Louis Pasteur produced vaccine against which disease? This is in famous one. The answer is rabies. Okay. Louis Pasteur produced rabies vaccine in 1885. This is taken first from attenuated rabies vaccine is taken from rabbit's backbone. What happens? He injected the rabies virus into the rabbit. Then after some time, he harvested the attenuated form of uh, rabies virus in the backbone of rabbit. Okay. This rabies virus is pre present in uh, most of the uh, dogs, cats, etc. When it bites human, then uh, human also will get infected by this virus. Okay. Th this will uh, infect the brain cells. 
and at last it will change human behavior itself this is a very deadly virus okay so uh, after attenuating that virus then he injected it into the small boy who uh, got bitten by many uh, dogs over that uh, society so then he didn't develop any uh, rabies uh, disease so then he came to know that uh, he got the vaccine for rabies virus so louis pasteur produced the rabies virus next is what is prosite the prosite it is the database of protein motifs whereas other thing like pdb uh, dip pdb is structural and function uh, of protein will be provided in pdb protein data bank and dip dip means database of interacting proteins that is option b it is wrong because prosite is not for interacting proteins the dip is for interacting proteins and for structure and search tool is pdb so the answer of prosite is it is used to know the family domains motifs everything so what is prosite means option c the database of protein motifs next question is which is the best annotated database annotation means gives more information on that uh, database so answer is swiss prot here the protein function domain structure post translation of that uh, given protein with full explanation on that protein and uh, other properties will be given okay and in others gen bank protpram pdb only certain information on that protein will be given and not the annotation so swiss prot differs from others by giving the annotation so the answer is swiss prot thank you if you have any doubt let me know by commenting in the comment section below subscribe and please press the bell button below thank you if you like this video and uh, if you need more videos on this bed question paper give like so it will tell me how much of them are in need of this thank you